Hey everyone, welcome to Bad Beats, where I bring you into my world of variants, misplays, and just really, really bad luck. So let's go through some clips here. I'm opening up with a pretty strong hand. I'm kind of happy with it. You know, two traverses, I can get lands. Oh, okay, so we're playing Boggles. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I could at least race them this game. Uh, let's see, Serum Visions, we're going to get a couple of triggers in here. Oh, Tarmogoyf and Blood Moon. What do I want? Well, Tarmogoyf is good. Blood Moon can pretty much shut them down. Oh, okay. Am I going to put Blood Moon down? No. No, I'm going to keep both of them because I want both. All right. So I think we're good. We're going to attack him for three. They're not going to block. Come on, block. No, they're not that stupid. So they're not going to block here. We're going to go in for three damage. I feel pretty good about it. I'm going to keep that mutagenic growth. Let's see what's going to come down. It's only turn two. Can't be that bad. Okay. I mean, Rancor I could live with. Spider Umbra sucks because... Okay, it's going to give them some some survivability there, but fine. You know, Tarmogoyf, I mean, I could cast Tarmogoyf this turn, and, you know, they're not going to be able to attack into it that easily unless they want to die, or, I mean, they're going to get that Spider Umbra trigger, which is kind of annoying. But, I mean, we're going to do the best we can. I, I, think, I think we can still take them out here. I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, Daybreak Coronet. Never mind. Oh. So 7-5, Vigilance, Lifelink, that's amazing. What's the friggin' point? Alright, Soulscar Mage, turn 1. That's okay, turn 2 we have Monastery Swift Spear, we have Metamorphose, we can play a bunch of spells, this looks, this feels pretty good. Our opponent has a Hallowed, Hallowed Fountain starting. They're gonna keep both their mana up, which, you know, isn't suspicious at all. We're just going to do what we got to do. Maybe bait out some, uh, rem I don't know, a Remand or Mana Leak. Who knows what they're playing. Maybe Path to Exile. I think we could survive it, though. Let's fetch for some lands first. Being indecisive here. Yeah, let's be gr big greedy with our land. With our lands. What's going to come down? Okay, nothing. That's that's good. That's a good sign. So we could swing in here and deal a bunch of damage thanks to Tarfire. Come on, Tarfire. We can deal like, what, six six points of damage? That's pretty decent. You get double triggers on prowess. Oh, mana leak. Okay. Okay. Okay, well we could we could we could we could bounce back. Fine, fine. Okay, we got storming entity on the battlefield now. Okay, we're doing good. We're gonna deal a bunch more damage. We're feeling pretty good here, I'm I'm confident. Supreme Verdict. What's the point? Okay, let's go. Let's try again. Come on. We got Supreme Verdict. We got everything destroyed, but we could we could we could bounce back. I think I could do it with Storming Entity. I'm feeling pretty good. We just have to beat them down. We just gotta go one good swing. One good swing and it's over. One good swing and it's over. It's path to exile. Okay, Path to Exile, get a land. Okay, we still got, we got Tarmogoyf, we got Serum Visions, we got Mutagenic Growth, we got Tarfire. I'm good. Oh, Veil of Summer's great. I mean, it's gonna be good next turn. I gotta draw it, though. We're gonna cast Mistress of Obble. You know, I just need to be able to draw Veil of Summer at this point. To kind of protect our Tarmogoyf or something. I think we got it. That's a big Tarmogoyf. Ugh. Okay, of course. Of course. Of course that's gonna happen. Alright. And Veil of Summer wouldn't have done anything anyway. Okay, so now Teferi's on the battlefield and uh same game, by the way, same game. I'm I'm surviving, by the way. Uh, we've got our opponent down to four. Uh we're gonna cast our little Tarmogoyf here. It's a big seven eight Tarmogoyf. We've got another Soul Scar Mage on the battlefield, dead next turn. Celestial Purge and Path to Exile. Wow. Bye. Okay, another game. We could do this. This is like game two or three or whatever. Archmage's Charm. <laughs> and we have no removal at all. Oh, and Teferi. Oh, and he gets a trigger off of my own Monastery Swift Spear. 
Okay, so now we have a Tarmogoyf. We're just going to deal with this horribleness. Oh, and Teferi's going to kick back our Tarmogoyf. Alright. Okay. Alright. I think I can deal with that. Did I misplay Veil of Summer there? Like, could I have protected my Tarmogoyf? I, I think I even missed that. I didn't even notice that the first time around on this video. Oh, Path to Exile. Goodbye. Alright, another game. Oh, we're playing Not Magic. We're all playing Not Magic, guys. This is going to be the best footage. You know when you're playing Not Magic, you're going to have a lot of fun. I always have a lot of fun when I'm playing Not Magic. So our opponent is going to get a bunch of triggers now uh, with a lot of fair creatures in their graveyard. Yo, look at that. That's nice. Just, uh, you know, a pair of 3-3s three and, uh, and a 1-1 one -one flyer in the air. So what the hell do I do? What do I do? Okay, so, I mean, we could swing in for some damage this turn. So that's going to feel good. Uh, and we could, like, tar fire. We can kill the Narc Amoeba. Uh, okay, some random other dredge card I don't want to think about. But okay, I mean, I think we could do this. We could deal a significant amount of damage this turn. So let's just attack in. Cool. What do we draw? Okay, he's gonna cycle. All right. He's gonna cycle. What else is gonna? Okay, serum visions. Right. Okay, serum visions is good. We can dig. We can get some triggers off of that. Okay, another Narcomiba, of course. Just keeps coming back, like uh, venereal disease at this point. But uh, all right, we got two three threes, but we could probably race our opponent. We could probably praise our opponent. What's going to happen, though? Okay, they're attacking us. They're attacking us. We expected that. Oh, a Storming Entity. That's good. Okay, you can even come down this turn. So I'm feeling pretty confident here. It's going to get chump blocked at some point by an Archimiba, but I mean, I could deal with that. I feel pretty good about playing against non-magic. So let's see, I'm looking through our opponent's graveyard, what type of shenanigans do they have in there? Oh, Surgical Extraction, that's actually pretty awesome. Pretty, that's that's great, actually. Um, life Goes On can be pretty useful. Yeah, we could gain some life. Alright. Let's just hope we put Life Goes On on top. Did I do that? Or did I just misplay? I guess we're going to figure it out next turn. I put this clip in here, so I'm assuming I did something stupid. Or I just lost to not magic. Alright, so we get chump block. We saw that coming. I mean, there's nothing to surgically extract at the moment, so we're just going to wait. I mean, you really want to target their, uh, you know, fair creatures. Oh. Well, this is going to be nice. So, we're going to do surgical extraction here. I mean, what do we target? Yeah, there's a bunch of crap that we uh, don't want to have to deal with, but... Uh, yeah, I guess Conflagrate is like one way of them to uh, remove our creatures or deal direct damage to us, so it's probably a good thing to target. Soaring Entity also kind of survives. Alright, more crap in their hand. There's no Conflagrate, and I'm kind of worried here that I wasted all that for just one card, but okay, fine. Okay, so we survive. That feels good. I think we can still take him on. Ugh, creeping chill. Creeping chill. So we did all that to keep our Storming Entity alive, and we're gonna have to chump block anyway, because we're dead, essentially. To their stupid prize amalgams. Alright. Well, that's just great. That's just wonderful. I mean, what's the point here? I guess, uh, I'm gonna soldier on. <sighs> we can do it. We just need, like, one or two explosive turns. And, you know, life goes on, was drawn, right? I mean, that should be next in our in our hand. What is this? Oh, forget it. My god, more free creatures. All right, moving on. Another game. I don't think we're playing not magic this turn, but I think we're going to I'm gonna see that. Let's see. Metamorphose is pretty good. I mean, we have a pretty good starting hand here. Don't have a lot of threats, but we have a lot of... Put down a lot of damage. Alright, well, can't even cast Tarmogoyf because I didn't metamorphose correctly, I guess. 
More lightning bolt, more surgical extraction. Okay, that's good. So the question is, did I put surgical extraction on top? Ask me if I put surgical extraction on top. You would think I would. Oh, look at that. Lightning axe out of nowhere. So all that work and Monastery Swift, Swift Spear dies. And now I don't really want to fetch next turn to get green because I put my second Surgical Extraction below the Lightning Bolt. That's right, everybody. So welcome to Misplay World where I, for some reason, valued Lightning Bolt over Surgical Extraction against Dredge. Um, sorry, I mean not magic. All right, so fine. I mean, we're just going to hope that that's not that bad. Uh, I already see that stupid ox that I need to uh, target before it gets cast. So we're probably going to do that, like, pretty soon. And we're just going to have to hope that, like, nothing else goes into our graveyard. Oh, Creeping Chills there. That's great. Okay, another ox. So we really got to target that ox, like, ASAP. So let's see what happens here. Oh, Prize Amalgam as well. Okay. So Creeping Chills is going to do its thing. I mean, here we gotta, we're going to have to target Prize Amalgam because I'm kind of concerned about it coming into the battlefield. So we're going to lose 3 life, our opponent's going to gain 3 life for doing nothing, uh, which is fair. And, uh, yeah. Okay. So we're going to surg surgically extract immediately and get rid of uh, Prize Amalgam. Now remember guys, if I had put Surgical Extraction on top, which I at this point thought I did, um, we could have targeted that Ox. See that Ox right there just staring at us in the graveyard of our opponent? Yeah, we could have targeted it. But no, we get Lightning Bolt. We get Lightning Bolt. Yeah. So it's the next turn and guess what they cast? They cast that stupid Ox. And we're at 8 life. This is great. So next turn we're going to potentially, you know, draw that Surgical Extraction. And it's going to do nothing because there's nothing else to target right now. Oh, and Creeping Chill. Oh, look at that. Another Creeping Chill. I didn't know that they played more than one. Feels like they're playing eight. And we're down to five. Non-Magic is all the way up to 21. So, oh, oh, look at that. Three creatures with great power. What's the friggin' point? All right, we're playing not magic again because I like to enjoy pain. And now we're going to put down our steam vents. We're going to go through emotions, soul scar mage. This should be good. All right. What else are you going to do? All right, so we're going to get a bunch of triggers here. Oh, look at that mutagenic growth. That's pretty decent. They don't need that land, necessarily. Mishra's Bobble. We're doing good. We're going to attack in for 6 damage. Turn 2. I'm happy about that. Alright, cast and get our Mutagenic Growth. Alright, what's going to happen? What's the worst that could happen on turn 3 for our opponent? Okay, Narc Amoeba. That's, that's fine. We could, we could kill Narc Amoeba. We could take care of Narc Amoeba. Our opponent is making us wait. Oh, okay. Cathartic Reunion. Alright, let's go. So they're going to do a bunch of more dredgy stuff. Because I'm assuming they consider it fun. Oh, look at that. A bunch of other stuff in the graveyard. I don't want to see... Oh, look at that. Is that a double Creeping Chill trigger? Oh, did I just lose six life and did they just, did they just gain all the life I took from them last turn? That's fair. Oh, and Prize Amalgam's coming onto the battlefield. Oh, wait, how many Prize Amalgams are coming onto the battlefield? Oh, wait, what? What? All right, sorry. I'm getting a bit uh, uh, frustrated from PTSD of watching these games again. All right, so, uh, yeah, this is a decent decent starting hand. I mean, I feel pretty confident. I don't know what... You know, oh, we'll look at that. I'm playing against Dredge again. I mean, sorry, not Magic. They have a bunch of crap in their graveyard that's just going to come into the battlefield soon uh, for free. So I'm going to target uh, Prize Amalgam again because there's like three in their graveyard which are all going to come to the battlefield at some point soon. So that's going to be good. I mean, getting rid of all three in the graveyard and I'm assuming one more in the, in the library. Yep, there it is. All right, cool. It's all gone. I could deal with Narc Amoeba. I mean, I could kill Narc Amoeba. That I can deal with. 
So what do we draw? We draw the land. All right, now we can place Swift Sphere. We can do Serum Visions. Oh, we're going to deal a bunch of damage. Look, I already just fast forwarded so you don't have to go through my pain. Oh, and the Ox comes down. All right. So Ox of Dredge comes down onto the battlefield. And a bunch of stuff is going to happen. And you're not going to like it. Uh, especially if you're on uh, the receiving well, Only if you're on the receiving end, essentially. So they're going to do a bunch of dredgy stuff. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Oh, oh yeah, an Archimedia and a Creeping Chill. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm surprised. Oh, what? All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little Bad Beats episode. I plan on doing one of these every week. Um, welcome to my variants and misplay hell or just pure bad luck. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content in general, please subscribe. Thanks and have a good one.